In this tutorial, we will see Mattel concept in detail. So let's start. So this is object. We want to take trial of Mattel on this. So at first, tool palette should be on. If it is not on, you can make it on from view tab. If it is on, then click on the bottom lines. So you have the list. So suppose I want to apply masonry material. So I will click on that. And I want to this first common modular. So click on that and select the object to which you want to apply and press enter. So it has been applied but not shown. So you have for showing purpose you have to go to render. Then click here in material tab, select material and texture on. So that material will be visible to you. But it is visible here. But on these walls, it is, suppose I want to reduce the size. So basically, you have to keep in mind that this object is very small. If I see the distance, the object size is only around 10, 10, 10 units. So it is very small object. Suppose I want to reduce the size of, uh, size of these bricks. So for that, I have to apply the one thing is reducing the size, other thing is on this surface, it is in inclined format. If you see on this surface, the material is in inclined format. We want to make it horizontal also. Both things we want to do. So you can do it using material mapping. So using mapping, you can control the, you can rotate it, you can move it, and you can control the size. So there are different types of map, mapping are there. Planner, if it is a plain surface, then you have to use planner. If it is a box type of surface, like in our case, you have to use box. If it is a cylindrical surface, you have to use cylindrical. And for spherical surface, you have to use spherical. So we will use box here. Then select faces or object. So we want to apply to this object, enter. So here, now it is in move option. Uh, move. So just right click and select rotate. So we don't want to move, we want to rotate. And just click on, we want to rotate in around green, uh, as like green. So just single click on the green and just choose the rotate, uh, just drag the mouse. So once you, re uh, once you reach the, your desired angle, just click. So you can see that material has become horizontal here. So now controlling the size, so rotation is achieved. Next is size. So you can reduce the width by click on this blue flag. Just single click and go inside. So it will reduce the width. Same way, if you want to reduce the height, then for height reduction, just drag it. So this bottom arrow is there. Just click on that and come up. Come up, move upside. So in this way that material height is reducing. Same way I want to reduce the width as further. So in this way you can reduce the width. Click there. So in this way we can control the material display size. So how we want it to be displayed. So same way on this surface. If you want to reduce the width, just click on this and go inside. So you can observe that the material size, the bricks are be, uh, becoming smaller width wise same way height wise so in this way you can just press enter to come out so in this way you can control the size of the material and rotation angle also using mapping now next material we want to apply to these glasses so we want to apply glass material so for that again we will go to click on the bottom lines and select Suppose we will take mass uh, door and window material samples. So there is a plain glass is there. If you take the plain glass, it will be completely okay. I want to override the material and click the surface. So it, it has become transparently completely. Suppose on this surface, I will apply plain glass. And on this surface, I will apply a mirror glass. So we will see the both, both effect here. So it is a mirror glass. Just select the mirror glass and apply on this surface. So this is mirror glass and uh, if you now want to see the effect, we have to render. So here is the render button. Just click on render. 
and it will render the image okay so here you can see that on this right side as the glass is transparent or uh, for seeing proper effect we will just apply one light actually so that we can see the more perfect effect so we will just apply a point light so we will just select point light and on this surface we will apply at the mid of this so we will just orbit it so that we can pick the mid properly click on mid and just say enter to apply the light now we will see we will just make the sun off so we will see internal sun status off and we will render to see how the mirror glass are look like so it is very high intensity we will just cancel escape cancel it and we will just decrease the in intensity of the light as it is very small object suppose we will take point not 1 as the intensity of light we will close this properties window and we will render it again so we will just say render now in the case of mirror glass you have seen that there are no uh, light is not going outside but in the case of clear glass light is going outside and it is the reflection is also there of the bricks but if you see in the case of suppose this one render uh, plain glass what happens so we will just say render so in the case of plain glass we can see the backward rods also so in this way you can use both glasses that is uh, suppose mirror uh, as per requirement you can use the mirror glasses or uh, clean glasses i will just make the sun on so that i can view it properly so for this rod also you can apply the material suppose here chrome satin is there or steel material is also aluminum is there galvanized steel i will use suppose for this rod so i will click on the rods so in this way you can use galvanized steel so again i will make the sun off and i will render to see the effect so in this way galvanized steel is applied here you can see in more properly as it is mirror glass the corner opposite corner is shown here so in this way you can apply the material to your project and uh, in the same way if you uh, we have now used the standard material suppose uh, we want to see the uh, we want to create a new material so for that what is to be done so for that you go to view view tab click on view then here materials command is there material palette just click on that materials palette here is the material palette so in this material palette there are different options are there so if you want to remove some material you can remove it from here so here is the option remove material from selected object just click on that and click on the object just select that option and then click on the object for which you want to remove the material so in this way you can remove the material and if you want to create a new material then click on this create new material give the name proper name give description and say okay then from here you can select the type of template which type of material you want to create that template you can directly use or otherwise you can define it yourself also you you can define color from here so which color you want to use for this particular material suppose i want to use this material this color then you have to define shininess opacity so opacity will make it transparent like glass if you reduce the opacity so if you increase the opacity it will be like a solid material refraction index you can give if you want to make it reflective then you can make it silphimineous like if it is lamp or light luminous you can define so in this way you can define the basic material property and if i want to apply this material then just click on this apply material to object and click on the object to which you want to apply 
so that material will be applied and you can see the effect in render so just move back to render and say render so sun is on so you can see the that material render effect because of sun it is showing that effect same way suppose I, you want to apply material for the uh, bottom surface also so for that we can move to finishing is there finishing or flooring is there so suppose I want to apply this flooring hardwood so overwrite the material and just click on the flooring again flooring overwrite the material ok I will just close this material tab so I will say flo flooring then select click on the flooring overwrite the material and just click this bottom surface so in this way this flooring is applied and just to see the effect just render it so that you can see the effect how it look like so in this way the flooring is applied so in this way you can use the material property provided in AutoCAD software. Thanks for joining. We'll stop here.